हेलो वर्ल्ड वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई एम साहिल एंड वी वी आर लर्निंग बिगिनर्स व्यू जे एस कोर्स एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन सम वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल्स यूजिंग व्यू जे एस सी मोड नाउ दिस इज द नाइन्थ वीडियो ऑफ दिस सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू वर्क विथ व्यू सी एल आई सो वट इज व्यू सी एल आई सी एल आई स्टैंड फॉर कमांड लाइन इंटरफेस एंड व्यू सी एल आई इज ए फुल सिस्टम फॉर रैपिड व्यू जे एस डेवलपमेंट इट इज ऑल्सो यूज टू क्रिएट एस पी ए that is single page application view cli uses babel now what is babel babel is a preprocessor tool that is mainly used to convert ecmascript script 2015 that is es6 or modern javascript code into native javascript code for supporting in old or current browsers view cli also uses webpack now what is webpack Webpack is a static module bundler for modern JavaScript applications. When Webpack processes your application, it internally builds a dependency graph which converts different types of file into minified files, and then generates one or more bundles. So now let's start installing Vue CLI. So before start installing and working in Vue CLI, we have to first install Node.js in our system. Node.js have inbuilt npm that is node package manager and we will use npm to install Vue CLI. So first open your browser and here in Google let's write Node.js and here you can see the first link that is node.js.org just open this link and from this page you can see the latest version of the Node.js just download this by clicking this uh, link and download the node.js application and install on your system i have already installed in my system so i will not going to install again so here i am just cancelling this step and uh, after installing node.js in your system let's open your command prompt okay so here you can check if uh, if the node.js is installed on your system properly or not so you can check by writing node node space dash v if the version is showing here it means node is properly installed on your system you can also check for npm so just write npm dash v so here you can see the version of npm also so node and npm is working properly okay so we are ready to install a uh, view cli okay so for installing view cli let's open the browser first and here in google just search view cli okay open this first link this is the official uh, website of view cli okay so now let's click on get started and now here just click on installation so we are using uh, npm method to install view cli so we will use this command so just copy and go to the command prompt here just paste and here you can see uh, dash g means we are installing uh, view cli globally okay now hit enter so it is start installing in our system so it will take some time to install depending on your internet connection speed so just wait for some times so here you can see the view cli is installed in our system to check either view cli is installed or not you can check by writing view space dash dash version so here you can see the version of view it means view is installed properly okay now we are ready to create our first view cli project so for creating view cli project we have to just write view space create 
and then space and write the name of your project so here i'm writing few cli uh, project you can write any name pro project okay sorry project okay now hit enter now here you can see it is asking uh, please select a preset okay so here there are two options default and manually select features so if you go by default then it will uh, only install babel and es linked features for our project okay and if you want more features then just go to manually select features and hit enter here you can see all the features that is that is you can use in your project like you can use uh, router bux and uh, unit testing so for selecting any feature you just have to use this arrow up down button and press space bar to select that feature okay so if you not want to use this feature then again press space bar okay now i want to go with default values so i am going to hit enter now it is asking to select the linter formatter so i will go for this es lint plus pre tier okay now it is asking that uh, pick additional lint feature that is lint on save or lint on fix or commit so i will go in the first option lint on save so just hit enter now it is asking that where you prefer placing config for babel post css en es lint etc so i will use in package dot json okay now it is asking to save this preset for future projects so i will not save this preset so here just write an and hit enter so now it is installing all the plugins features that you have selected for the project so it will take some times to install all the features so just wait for some times so here you can see the successful creation of the project so for running this project we have to uh, go to this uh, project folder so here just write cd view dash cli dash project and hit enter now we are on our project now for running this project in development mode we have to write npm run serve serve and hit enter okay now it is starting development server now here you can see the app is running at uh, local host so just copy this link and go to your browser just paste the link and hit enter now your project is uh, running okay now just minimize this and view cli also provides an another method to create project that is the gui method so for creating a project using GUI method, we have to first stop this. So, for to stop this, just uh, hit Control plus C, and here just write Y and hit Enter. Okay. Now we are going to create a project in desktop. So we have to head uh, head to desktop. So here just CD and cd desktop okay now here uh, i am going to use view ui okay and hit enter now it will start 
GUI method of creating a project so here you can see the GUI uh, method has been started in the browser now here you can see the tabs this is the project tab this is for creating a new project tab and here import existing project okay so I am going to create a project uh, in desktop so let's create a new project so here click on create a new project and here type the name of the project so here I am writing view CLI um, view CLI test project okay view CLI test project and here you can choose your default package manager so I am using npm so just select npm here and uh, it is also asking some like additional option overwrite target folder if it exists so just leave this uh, default now click on next and here it is asking to select a preset so I am I will go by default so just select default preset and click on create project so it is uh, downloading all the plugins so it will take some time so just wait now here you can see that the project has been created view dash cli dash test dash project okay now from here you can install any plugins or any features uh, from here like you can add vuex add sorry add vuex uh, add view router or any other plugin that you want to add in your project by just clicking this add plugin button okay so you can search for any like uh, if you want to add be beautify then you can add but just by clicking this uh, plugin okay and you can check here dependencies configuration and tasks so here in task i will uh, just uh, run this project so for uh, running I will use this serve now here we can just run by just clicking this button run task so just click on run task so it is starting so it is building the project here you can see now the app is ready you can see the message now go to the output and here you can see the link okay now click this link then you can see the project has been uh, opened in a new tab okay now just minimize this and here you can see the project folder has been created in the desktop with all the folder and files so i am going to open this project folder in uh, vs code editor so just open this project now here you can see some folders and files so we have to understand one by one so what is this node module folders so node modules folder contains all the tools plugin that are using in this application and uh, this public folder contains all static assets that will be used when we will build this project for deployment okay and this src folder is the main folder we will uh, where we will work on this project okay so src folder contains asset folder there we can keep all our images uh, video files font etc src folder also contains component folders 
component folder where we put all our component that is to be used in the project it also contains app.view file and main.js file now this app.view file is the root component of this project okay now here you can see some of the files so we will here this is the package.json file now package.json file has all the details about this project in json format it also includes all the dependencies so we will we are not going to do anything in this package.json file so just close this and here this is the component hello world dot view okay so and this is main.js so like uh, like when we uh, are coding in view instance uh, in cdn mode so we uh, we have just created a view instance like that here is also this is a view instance created and this is targeting and div root element div that is here in public folder and this is the index.html so here you can see a div with id app now by using this main.js we are targeting this index.html uh, file and there is a div with id app so using this main.js we are targeting this index.html file okay and we are rendering whatever we will uh, whatever we will use inside this app.view that is our root, uh, root component of uh, this project okay so whatever we will do here in app.view we will just sending through this main.js into this index.html okay so we are not going to do anything in main.js file also so just close this so we will only work on components so components this hello world and we can create our another components and we can also work in this app.view okay so for now let's delete all the things from hello world.view component and save and let's go to the browser and refresh so here you can see all that all the text has been deleted uh, removed and this logo is only showing here so for removing logo just go to the app.view and here you can see the img tag just remove this also and this is the hello world component so just remove this message attribute now if we want to show hello world message in this page then we have to write inside this hello world dot view component okay so now this is the basic setup of any component in Vue.js. so here in template tag we have to write html tag like h1 and here we will just show a message hello world just save and go to the browser refresh so here you can see the hello world message okay so this is this is a component and we have just we have just to using this component in app.view that is our root component so we have just importing this hello world component by using import hello world from components hello world view and here in um, and here in Vue.js coding we have just written hello world components in component property and we are using like a html tag inside this template okay so just go to hello world dot view and here we can also use data property like write data but in component we have to write data property as a function 
that returns some objects so we have to write like this okay because we are uh, providing a fresh copy of data each and every time when components initialize okay so here we can create a object like message and give a message hello there sorry hello there how are you okay now just delete this static message and here we can just write the message object save go to the browser here you can see the message has been changed okay and here you can also see the style tag so here we can style these elements uh, these elements okay so each component have their own style and script okay and template okay so to style any element in component we have to just use the selector and the uh, css properties like we want to change the color so just write color and here write the value and here you can see the color has been changed okay so now uh, i am not going to show you in details about uh, view cli so for this video this is enough now in next video i will show you how to create a calculator using view cli so thanks for watching this video guys if you like this video then hit on like button and please subscribe my channel